What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create a model-based isometric detail. Okay, so on our last video, we created a model-based electrical riser diagram detail with the wiring. So this time around, we are going to create a model-based isometric detail. Okay, so in this exercise, we are going to duplicate an existing view and orient it to a section view in order to create an isometric detail view. So we use a view template to isolate the mechanical components so that you can annotate the detail components. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to prepare the view. Okay, so here on our uh, project browser, so I need to look for the documentation. Let's look for the HVAC duct. And then let's look for the 3D views. Okay, so just expand that one. And then you can see here a couple of uh, 3D views. So we will be using the 3D duct and equipment. So if I'm going to double click that to open. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click this and duplicate it. Okay, duplicate. And let's wait. Okay, so there's the copy. And then we're going to right-click this and then rename. Okay, so for the name, I'm going to type here uh, typical make up air isometric detail. Okay, and then I'm going to enter. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click this view cube here. Okay, so I'm going to right-click this. And then after that, I'm going to look for Orient to View. Okay, and then we're going to look for the sections. And then let's look for uh, Section Typical Makeup Air. So we will be using this section to create a 3D view. Okay, so if I'm going to search that particular view, so I'm going to right click here and then search. So I'm going to type um, typical make up and then enter. Okay, so as you can see, that's the section there. So I'm going to open this section and this is the section that we are going to use to create the 3D view for our isometric detail. Okay, so I'm going to double click again the 3D view that we have created. And then in order for us to create a 3D view for this section that we have here already, so this is how you do it. Okay, same with other section that you want to create the 3D view. Okay, so you just need to right click the view cube and then go to orient the view and then that's a section. And then you just need to look for that particular section, which is this one. So just click this one and just wait there you go so this is now the 3d of that particular section so you can click the section box and then you can orbit your model by holding the shift and holding the middle button while moving uh, moving your mouse so that's how you orbit your uh, model okay so i'm going to select again this face here on the view cube and i'm going to adjust the section box so i'm just going to make this portion here shown just like that okay and then I'm just going to select the home here on my view cube and there you go so this is the 3d view so maybe I'm gonna orbit that something like this okay so this is the uh, <clears throat> angle that I want okay and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply a view template Okay, so to apply the view template, <coughs> so just right click and then let's apply template properties. So just select that one and then here on the apply view template um, dialog box. So we will be looking for uh, 3D views walkthrough and then let's use 3D HVAC isometric or ISO. So I'm going to use these settings. <coughs> And then I select here, OK. So this will isolate the mechanical components by turning off the architectural, uh, architectural components. OK? So as you can see, these are the only elements that we are now seeing. 
Okay, then we are going to hide elements in a view. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to select, let's say this one here. I'm going to select this rectangular duct or maybe this one here. So I select this, I'm going to hide this, and then right click, hide in view, let's use elements. So we are going to hide that. So you hide this duct because it's not part of the detail that we are going to create. Okay, now the next part of the exercise is we are going to annotate the view. Okay, right. So let's annotate this. So let's create a text. So I'm going to select the text here. Okay, and then from the properties, let's check the properties. So we are using 3 over 32 Arial Transparent. So how about I'll just use this one, 3 over 32 Arial. Okay, so I'm going to select this. And then from the leader, I'm going to use two segments. Okay, so I select that one. And then let's start now annotating. So I'm going to start here. I want to point my leader here. So I click. There's the first leader line. And then I'm going to pick another point and then pick another point here. And then I can now type the detail. Okay, so I'm going to call this make up. Oops. Okay, so make up air duct from ahu-1. And then just click outside, and there you go. So I can select modify here to terminate the text, and then I can click the text, and then you can uh, compress that. You can change the alignment here. You can change the positioning of the arrow here, like that. Okay, and then just click outside. So once you have uh, modified that based on your standard. So now using the same method, so we are going to label the connecting duct uh, this one, see we have a connecting duct here. So let's try this one. So let's label. So let's select again the text. Again, using two segments, 3 over 32 inch aerial. So I'm going to point there. I'm going to pick here and then just align. Okay, so let's type here 8 by 8. Uh, make up air to return plenum and then let's put this note here provide motorized damper okay so maybe i'll just put here typical and then just click outside again and there you go right so select modify click the text and then compress it change the alignment and change the positioning of your arrow and there you go so you can click that you can tidy up okay so now let's uh, complete the detail here let's complete the text so let us add more text here so i can select the text again so, so maybe i'm going to select from here to here okay so that will gonna be my return airflow Click outside. And so I can also add an arrow here. So let's say this is also my return airflow. So I'm going to move this. I'll just drag here. Something like that. And then I can add another leader. There you go. And then I'll just point it there. So that's my return airflow. So I'll just move it so maybe like this. Okay. And then... What else? Okay, so let's add another text. So let's say this one here. So that is my turning veins at elbows with flow greater than 1000 CFM and I will call this typical okay select modify let's fix this one again change the alignment tidy up your detailing like that 
Okay, so where else? Okay, so let's add another text. So let's say to this portion here. So I click, let's click here, then here. All right, so I'm going to type here return air to return uh, plenum. So provide uh, volume damper. Okay. And then let's just call this again uh, typical. Okay. Again, you can change the justification alignment to the right, and then you can click that. Again, you can fix, change. Okay. So basically, just tidy up your drawing. So usually, I just align that to the other text there. So it's nice to see your detailing. Or your annotation okay then I'm going to add some more text here so let me just move this down okay so move this down okay but I'll just align it here I'm going to copy this. Okay, and then this will going to be my uh, return air plenum. Click outside. Again, just fix that one. Modify the arrow and point that to the right element. Okay, so what else? So let's add another text. So this is our equipment. So let's say I will call this uh, <coughs> Water Source Heat Pump or WSHP. Then modify. And what else? Okay, so let's add some more. So how about I use one segment here. And then I'll just point here. Uh, supply. Air. Flow. So if you click the text, you can actually use that rotate icon there if you want. So like that. Just to give you an idea, you can do that. Then you can move, oops, you can select your text and then move that, modify, or you can click the text, you can use the arrow on your keyboard, something like that, okay? Right, or for this case here, so I can, um, let me just delete that. Let me copy this. So I'm just giving you some um, options that you can use. Oh, let me just remove the other one and then add. Okay, so this will going to be the return airflow. Okay, so sometimes in doing your modeling, you need to think of other ways to represent the way how you want that to be your elements okay so like that okay so let me just modify the WSP here as well so maybe just a straight line or I can just rotate this as well Then you can use the arrow on your keyboard. Okay.
Okay, so let's say, for example, you are now done with placing your annotation to your detail, to your 3D view, isometric view, or isometric detail. So we are now going to place the view on a sheet. Okay, so from the project browser, let's look for the sheets here. So I want that to be added to my HVAC doc plan in section. So just double click that. Okay, and then... I want that to be placed somewhere here okay so I want that to be placed here so I'm gonna click that and drag drag and drop there you go and then just maybe I'm just going to move it here click there you have it okay so you can still select that viewport you can use the arrow on the keyboard to move that. Now, if you want to move the title separately, so you need to click the title separately, and then you can now move that. You can use the arrow on the keyboard to move it. Okay? And you can also change the type. So how about I select this one, go to properties, type selector. Let's look for... Uh, viewport square so let's try this one there you go okay and we can also resize your title here by clicking the viewport you can now see the blue node there you can adjust that if you want to resize it okay there you go where is that this one all right so basically, that's how you create a model-based isometric detail, all right? So in our next video, we're going to learn how to create drafting detail components. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.